All right, what's up, everyone? This is Edwin Anthony again. Uh, this is a part two of a series that we have for everyone who wants to create uh, Shopify automatic carrier shipping rates. That's what this is. This is the part two. If you guys have not seen the part one, uh, please go back and search for my part one of the video. I'll leave it on the description. I just want to make sure you guys are not lost when you're watching this whole thing. So this is again part two and off to the video. All right, so for handling fee moving forward, uh, we have different amounts. As you can see right here, you could either do percentage or you could do flat mount a flat fee. Um, for those who would use percentage, think of those people who would actually pack orders. And depending on how big the order is, uh, there might be more labor, right? And so you want to say no matter how big the order is, we want to charge 2% of whatever that grand total is going to be. Or you could say, you know what? No, that's going to push our prices really high and it's going to scare customers away. We rather just have a flat amount because, you know, whoever's packing the orders, it's going to be okay. So we're just going to put a $5 uh, surcharge for the flat amount. Now, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just saying that figure this out based on your profit margins and shipping expenses and how much you're left off with. Uh, if you're a startup business, you don't have a lot of clients, you get like, let's say, you know, less than 100000 a month then I would recommend you to start off for free, right? Do free shipping domestically, internationally, uh, I would say charge a very small amount for shipping. In other words, let's say if internationally on average, your shipping is costing you about 20 something dollars, let's call it $23, then charge them half of that, charge them, you know, 1550 or not, that's not even half charge them like, you know, somewhere like 12 something or $11 or just keep it nine ninety nine, uh, so that you, you could pay for the rest based on your profit margins. So make sure that your profit margins are healthy enough so that you could discount them on the shipping. Why? Because people have been influenced by Amazon, Amazon free shipping or just easy shipping. Uh, you don't want to get turned away by a customer when your shipping is too expensive, especially when you just start off. Right. Because when you start off, you're trying to gain momentum. You're going to have a lot of abandonment cards. People love your prices. They love your products. But the moments that they see your shipping, they leave. Right. Why? Because you're asking too much. Once you become a better established business where you're pumping more than 100,000 in a month, then go ahead. You became reputable. Go ahead and charge them, you know, the 999 for shipping or full price of shipping when it comes to international but this is, you know, your idea in the beginning of shipping is that you want to make it easy and very attractive, even if it means that your profit margins are slim, like you're barely getting anything out of it because you're trying to build momentum first. You're trying to become popular first. Then you go ahead and you start charging them for the shipping. That's the idea. So in this case, let's go ahead and let's put zero there. And then, of course, for what we just did is everything for the United States. Now, for the rest of the world, if you want to focus on a rate for a specific country, all you have to do is first create a shipping zone. And for this example, let's call it Italy, right? So if we're going to title this Italy, but then right here on this box, you're going to type Italy as well. And then you could check this box off right here. And this rate that you're going to create is going to be exclusive for those people that live in Italy in this example. But you could say, you know what? We don't want this rate to be everywhere in Italy. We just want it to be for certain areas of Italy. And so this region is going to take away these guys, right? We're going to take away some of these guys. And then you could create a totally different rate for Italy, right? and then have completely different rates for all those other places that I've unselected. How is this applicable? Well, for those that are living in the United States, you could say, look, these are the domestic prices for the continental US. For all those other islands like Guam and you know places of the military areas or whatever, I'm gonna charge you a little bit more because it costs a little bit more money. And so you create one zone called continental US and then create another zone called exterior US and then have, you know, with those two different zones, you have different rates. That's what I mean. So we'll go ahead and press done here. And then from there, you know, go ahead and add a rate and say, look, we're using calculated carriers. Uh, this is going to be with, you know, DHL because they're awesome uh, in Europe. And we want worldwide services and we want to add a percentage or a flat rate fee, however it is that you want to call it. And as you can see right there, that's done. 
But for everywhere else, you don't have to create a country or, excuse me, a shipping zone for every country. Literally, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is focus on what's important. If it's just the U.S., then the U.S. and then everywhere else, excuse me, everywhere else around the world, you could put it over here where you just add a rate, say calculated rate for international, uh, DHL, blah, blah, blah. And then it'll just be that, right, worldwide, okay? And that's what that'll mean there. And then whatever you have by default, go ahead and take that out, right? You don't have to leave it there. And then you could see, right, discounted rates from Shopify shipping. All right, so that's we're almost towards the end here because I know this video might be a pretty long, but I want to make it as detailed as possible for you guys. So let's pretend that we've finished this and everything's all good. Or you're you're like, hey, you know what? Uh, we don't like the Shopify rates. Um, we have our own rates. So if you have your own rates, then don't do calculated rates. Um, what you could do is hold on. I think there's a setting over here. Let me show you. All right, so let's pretend for a second that you don't want to use Shopify special rates. Instead, you want to use your rates with DHL, your rates with UPS because, and let me tell you, some people do this. I encourage you, okay? Pay very close attention to what I'm trying to tell you. Sometimes it's best if you start off your business selling products on your own and paying those premium fees internationally rather if it's with usps or whoever you may call it right you start off basic i would suggest starting off with usps just to prove that you have international movement and a lot of sales international that's step number one step number two pick up the phone and contact dhl schedule a meeting with one of their representatives to interview you and meet you in person bring your laptop with you this is if, if this, what I'm telling you is if you're in the U.S. I'm not sure if international in Europe, you could do this too. Maybe you can, especially with DHL because they're a European company, okay? Schedule a meeting with a representative so you guys could negotiate prices. Show them your Shopify metrics of how many international sales you have going out to these countries. And then tell them that USPS is charging you an arm and a leg in order for you to ship out to these countries and that you want a custom pricing package dedicated to you. They'll say, okay, we'll do custom pricing. We're going to make it much more cheaper than USPS. Plus, we're going to deliver out to them as soon as possible. The catch is, is that you have to sign a contract with them for like about one year. But once you get that account going, you want to put your special prices that you've negotiated with USPS, excuse me, with UPS or USPS or uh, DHL, whichever one that you've done this negotiation. Scroll, uh, let me show you. Go here, like let's say we're starting at the top. Go to where it says settings, scroll down. Go to where it says shipping and delivery. Scroll all the way down, right here. Carrier accounts. As you can see, based on my plan currently, I'm paying the $29, right? They're saying that I cannot connect my automatic prices that I've negotiated with these carriers. I cannot add it unless I upgrade the plan. Let's see what this is about. Okay. See? And it's all about, you know, even your FedEx account. You could do your FedEx account, Canada Post, USPS, UPS, all of your custom rates. So if you have a lot of orders that are going out international, I highly advise you to negotiate fees. Okay, and then once that's done, you go ahead and you say upgrade your plan, right? And of course, this is like, hey, you don't have permission. What are you talking about? This is my account. But it'll tell you how much you need to pay extra. I think the catch is, is that you pay like a $10 extra a month or they waive that fee as long as you pay a year in Shopify. So two things, either you pay an extra $10 a month or just pay for the whole year and they'll waive that fee and they'll reduce your monthly cost on Shopify as well. I think you get like a 10% discount if you pay for the whole year. But disclosure, don't pay for the whole year unless your business is seriously active. In other words, you guys ain't going nowhere for a year, right? Uh, otherwise, just pay the extra $10. See how that floats. If things are going okay, put a bookmark 90 days later on your calendar so that you could prepay Shopify for the whole year because it's already been proven that your system works and you save yourself some money that way. You know, feed, feed your decisions based off data. Don't be impulsive with your decisions. 
Okay, guys, so the last part of this video that I want to share with you is other special apps that could help you with pricing as well. So let's go ahead and search for them here real quick. So we're going to go to uh, apps. We're, let's see if we could go to customize a store. And there's some apps here that will also help you out with shipping and they act like shipping brokers because that's what Shopify is. Shopify is a shipping broker right? There are other shipping brokers out there that you need to do research and make sure that you're getting the best prices. Let's go to pirate ship. And no, we're not affiliated with these guys. I'm not getting kickbacks or anything. I'm just showing you what most, most people use and just download it. And they'll act like their own interface portal where they connect you with DHL <clears throat> they'll connect you with whatever, but they're giving you the cheapest USPS pricing postage possible according to their relationship with USPS. So these guys have been around for quite some time, <clears throat> excuse me, for quite some time that I could assure you that, you know, they're, they're pretty legit. Okay. So go ahead and test these guys out. You could even print out labels with them and so on and so forth. So test these guys out and let me know if that actually works for you down in the comments. The next one up is better shipping. Hold on. No, not better shipping. Shipping easy. These guys right here. And they got a lot more reviews, right? These guys, same thing. Uh, one thing that I like about them is sometimes they'll add insurance, if I'm not mistaken. But you could also put your own account if you wanted to. So they have their own brokerage account. Or you could add your brokerage account. So let's say you want their brokerage account for USPS, but you want to add your account to UPS and you want to add your account for FedEx. You can integrate that very easily here. And once orders go ahead, pick package ship and all that stuff, this system communicates to Shopify, which then automatically adds the tracking number to Shopify. You don't have to do any of that stuff. So Shipping Easy is another great app that acts as a brokerage company for shipping that gives you very low prices for shipping. OK, so go ahead and test those guys out to see if that works. The better shipping, that's for something more complex that has nothing to do with brokerage accounts. So shipping easy, the pirate ship. Great one. Uh, those are the most popular ones that I know of. But other than that, guys, I hope that this video has been very useful for you. And thank you guys all for watching. If anything, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.